Well, you have to look at it. It's more than just the 64. You start out the season with more than 300 D1 teams, and then you keep filtering it down. Of course, the 64 or 68 who get into the uh, NCAA tournament really get under the spotlight. But what really is interesting is the ability to keep winning. Uh, you know, we've gone to the Sweet 16 now. We've done this for the second time. But this is where you really start to get a lot of attention. So uh, we're outside of Viejas, uh, where the second and third round games were played here last week with teams from out of town. What kind of impact did that have on San Diego? I, I think the fact that we hosted one of the regional games, some of the regional games here, even added to the impact of what's going on with the excitement around the Aztecs. You know, after the Aztec games were over and people were excited, wow, let's go see what our next opponent's going to do. And it's even more interesting to look down and say, wow, that's our arena where they're playing. Mm -hmm. Does excellence on the court extend to other sectors of the university? It can increase engagement with the alumni. Maybe you see alumni giving go up. It leads to merchandise sales. Obviously, there's the revenue that comes from winning. Uh, every round you go, you make more money. Now those funds get shared with the conference. But you have to look at what it does overall. It, r it raises the stature, I think, of, of the university overall. People like to look and say, you know, it's great to have a great academic program. It's great to have a great sports program that comes along with that. Let's go, Aztec!